Old Oti is a tricky opponent. I didn't expect him to take the risky step of going public at such a critical moment for Panacone. Indeed. He's definitely bold. It's that kind of boldness that made him the Odi Alfalfa he is today. Still, the outcome is uncertain. Shouting loud doesn't necessarily carry any weight. What about the phone call I asked you to make, Topaz? Ah, they agreed. But it'll take some time before they arrive. Just as it should be. The sweet dew should be served after the bitter poison. <laughs> Looks like we'll be skipping the exchanging apples step this time around. <laughs> now that we're dealing with a greedy merchant, a simple apple wouldn't make a difference. Well, I guess I included myself in that remark too. Now I'm a bit curious, Topaz. Do you think Panacone is a quality asset? Hmm, yes. Despite its recent calamity, Panacone remains a top quality asset within the cosmos. With, uh, good credit, lucrative potential, and, uh, promising prospects. Well, that's obvious. But what I truly wanted to know is... This project is obviously too bland for your taste, isn't it? <laughs> that's true. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Venturine. But despite that, you trust him. You even entrusted him with a cornerstone. Something as precious as life itself to finish this gamble. Uh, are you not in the same boat, Miss Jade? Without us playing along, your Jade Stone wouldn't have made it across the border so easily, allowing you to see all desires that flow through dreams to gain a bargaining chip in negotiations. That's why I'm willing to stake my topaz stone to cover for you. <laughs> it's like one big elaborate game of chess. Once that kid sets his mind to something, nothing can stop him. Not even fate. <laughs> well, at least he's still alive. And that's the best outcome. <laughs> Looks like uh, we've strayed off topic, Miss Jade. Should we discuss our next steps? No need. I'll go it alone. Meanwhile, you can go greet our honored guest and wait for my message. Okay. Is that Robin? Huh. She's also here on the Radiant Felt's Bar. Greetings, Miss Robin. I didn't expect to meet you here. Miss Jade? Greetings. The opening ceremony for the Charmony Festival has been moved to the Radiant Feldspar, so I'm here making some preparations. How about you? Have you spoken with Mr. Alfalfa? I'm actually on my way to meet him right now. Do you know him well, Miss Robin? Unfortunately, I've never met him. I've only heard a few comments from the former head of the Oak family. Mr. Alfalfa is respectable when it comes to business, but in other respects, I can't say the same. Hmm. Where do you think the future of the planet of festivities is headed? I believe the sweet dream will see its rebirth, just like the Radiant Feldspar resumed its voyage. The Harmony needs a new direction. Only by bidding farewell to the past, can we actually sail into the future? There are no permanent allies or everlasting enemies. So let's both take what we need from this deal. Naturally. I'm looking forward to your performance. See you at the festival. See you later, Miss Jade. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Alfalfa. Let's continue our discussion. <laughs> Figured out something already, Miss Jade? Hmm. But where is Miss Topaz? Topaz has something else to take care of. You'll be seeing her later. Talks can still continue between the two of us. Is it just me, Miss? Your tone sounds 
very different now. I need to set a good example for my junior. It's not a good habit to be too loose-lipped during negotiations, right? Now we can speak frankly and openly. Do you believe what I said, Odi? You're not the only merchant who has seen the changes in the cosmic market over the past ten Amber Eras. Interesting. <laughs> now that's interesting. Good. It's good to be straightforward. Openness and transparency are my things. So, tell me, what's your next move? Unfortunately, I'd like to speak the harsh truth before laying out my plan. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. First, your plan won't work. Penacony has no way of sidestepping the IPC and going public. Second, you can't stop the IPC from entering Penacony. We've got all the time and connections in the world to find a way in. We'll keep tearing down and rebuilding this place until the Asdana system gets used to the IPC's ways again. Now, I'm repeating your words exactly. If you don't want to be a laughingstock and have everyone gunning for you at the official conference, you'd better drop your little pie-in-the-sky plan. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Indeed. You surely have a way with words. Now, I'm curious to know what you have up your sleeve. Mr. Alfalfa, let's not forget that the IPC controls the biggest interstellar publicity platform. More than half the news networks in the universe take their orders from us. The moment news spreads about Penacony going public, trillions of customers will immediately receive a message like this. The family's protection for Penacony has expired. Any mishaps in the dreamscape could result in permanent brain death. Care to guess how many ways we have to turn alfalfa credits into worthless junk within a measly 24 system hours? With the entire cosmos keeping a close eye on Penacony, I assure you, it won't be too hard. You really think you can pull that off? Even from Pier Point, as distant as it may be, I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. However, if you agree to give up that half-baked plan to go public, the IPC will assure you that will never jeopardize the interests of the family heads under your leadership. After all, we also need allies here in Asdana. The IPC can assist Penacony with financing, starting by acquiring 30% equity shares. With our financial support, stabilizing and rebuilding Penacony will be a piece of cake. 30% equity, you say? Who can guarantee you won't want more in the future? <laughs> That's the brilliant part of it all. The answer is simple. No one. There are no guarantees. It all hinges on self-awareness and mutual respect. However, the board of directors will consider the interests of the family heads to some extent. You're a smart merchant, old Odie. Isn't the whole purpose of this elaborate game to showcase your business acumen and seek more benefits for the family? It benefits us if we both take a step back. And if that's not enough for you, I'm pretty sure that another goal of making Penacony go public is to expand the influence of the Planet of Festivities and attract more customers. I understand your concern, and I have a solution for that, too. Fine. Now I see your sincerity. As the head of the Alfalfa family, I don't think I have any reason to refuse your offer. However, as their chosen one, I still need one final answer. Go ahead. I'm listening. When I was a child, I heard the adults recite the tale of the ancient Amber Era, about the ascension of Shipe, the Harmony, 
and the downfall of Enna, the Order. The Order and the Preservation used to be close in ancient times. So, why does the IPC, as a follower of the Amber Lord, seek collaboration with the family instead of aligning with the Order? The answer is simpler than you think. It's all about credits. Everyone's favorite thing and the universally recognized currency among the stars. The IPC has the power to perpetually ensure their value. With each new world integrated into the credit system, the IPC adds another building block to its cause. Eventually, all exchanges, capital, and businesses will operate within a unified monetary system. By then, all planetary developments will be recorded in accounts with well-defined values and the ability for exchange and circulation. And the heart of everything will be Klepoth's credit. Ah, and then the IPC will be able to exert influence over everything. Our intention is to establish enduring preservation, so I'm sure you can understand. This universe doesn't need two types of order. Hmm. <laughs> well said. Now you've convinced me. All right. Tell me your solution. Let's see if we're thinking the same thing. Then let's continue our conversation. Please, Topaz. Invite Sweet Dew to join us at the table. Thank you for your presence, Miss Himeko. Please allow me to introduce her to you, Mr. Alfalfa. This is Miss Himeko from the Astral Express, one of the future shareholders of Penacony. I've heard so much about you, Mr. Alfalfa. It's an honor to meet you as representative of the Astral Express. <laughs> this stunning lady is the navigator of the Astral Express? It's a pleasure to meet you. I believe everyone here is familiar with the general contents of the proposal. After this round of financing, the IPC is expected to hold 30% of Penacony's shares. Then, the IPC will transfer 5% of that stake to the Astral Express and recommend Miss Himeko as an independent director to honor the sacrifices and contributions made by the former Nameless to the Land of the Dreams. While this decision isn't finalized yet, we are honored that everyone here recognizes the way of the Trailblaze. While the Nameless didn't embark on their journeys for fame or fortune, if this is the wish of both the family and the IPC, I will represent the Astral Express and fulfill my duty as a member of the Board of Directors. The entire crew has agreed to assist in the reconstruction of Penacony. Beyond that, in our future travels, we are committed to bringing the beautiful dreams of the Planet of Festivities to more worlds. Of course, all cooperation is based on one premise. The path of harmony in Penacony must not be distorted again, and such a tragedy must never recur. Ah, <sighs> old OT is in agreement. So the issue is settled, I presume. What about the remaining family heads? They will soon realize the situation. When old Odi answered the last question, he represented more than just the Alfalfa family. When should we schedule the formal negotiations? I'll handle the arrangements. It's all up to you. I'll step back and let you handle the negotiations and take over. I won't be involved. Uh... But, Miss Jade, this is... Aventurine initiated this case, and you were his project partner. If that kid hadn't overplayed his hand, 
I wouldn't have been pushed to the forefront. I came here today to help you sort out the toughest issue. I trust you'll be able to wrap things up quite nicely, little Yelena. Of course, there won't be any problems. And please, give Diamond my assurance. Don't worry. Diamond has always trusted us. I'll put in a good word for you, and you'll have your P-45 position back in no time. Radiant Feldspar. What a fantastic ship. Well, now that my business is done, it's time for me to indulge in my own little hobby. Ah, you want to open a Bon and Jade Exchange branch on this ship too? Opportunities like this don't come around often. Just look at the guests on this ship. They're surely holding a wealth of valuable treasures. Well, <laughs> I'll take my leave. A pawn shop can't run without a boss. See you around, Topaz. I have one more question for you, Miss Jade. Hmm? Go ahead. That dose of bitter poison. I'm curious as to how you found this information. I didn't find the information. It came to me. It was from... a lady concerned with the future of the Harmony. In return, I've agreed to help her with something. But that's for later. We can deal with it after we leave Panacone. You see, that's what investment is all about. The seeds of opportunity are already sown. They only need a little bit of nourishment to take root. And then after, all we need to do is wait patiently. Like right now, for example. It's just about time my final guest boarded the ship. <laughs>